fine, he's a psychopath, it's a legacy character season, but could they not go a little deeper than, hang on, let me check my notes, wants to have fun? Hey everyone, Adam from Passable Media, and this is my Arrowverse Roundup for Batwoman Season 3, Episode 7, Pick Your Poison. This was the last episode until the middle of January, so let's get right on with covering off the things I didn't like, and then the things I did. As ever, please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the video. Stuff I didn't like. Ryan trusting Jada with Mary's cure, betraying her brother, and her reaction to Sophie sleeping with Renee. On the first and second points, she'd been far too quick to accept that Jada is telling the truth. It seems like she is, sure, but I'm very much on the side of Sophie holding on to a little healthy distrust of the mother that abandoned her. On the last point, Ryan deciding that who Sophie spends time with is up to her is pretty gross, both from the mindset that Ryan and Sophie clearly aren't a thing, and that not everything revolves around Batwoman. After all, Sophie and Renee have history, even if it is in mutual dislike. The truly pathetic amount of security around Marcus. It's like Jada wanted him to escape. Never mind the fact that the moment she closed the distance between them, it was pretty starkly obvious where that was gonna go. I also really, 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 really don't like the Black Joker angle they're going with Marcus. Fine, fine, he's a psychopath, it's a legacy character season. But could they not go a little deeper than, hang on, let me check my notes, wants to have fun? It's very try-hard, misses the point of the Joker, and I think the weakest part of the Mary Alice story is that Mary is remotely interested in seeking out Marcus. The ease with which he took over Wayne was disappointing to say the least, especially an episode after it seemed like there would finally be a fox in charge, to say nothing of the fact that this is the second Arrowverse team in a week that's lost their base of operations. Also, could Ryan maybe stop wandering around in the bat suit with her cowl off? Stuff I liked. This one could be simplified to Mary and Alice. But for a little more depth, let's talk about the plan to spread Alice's nanobot infested blood all over the place to shake the tail before flushing her system of them all together, combining Alice's cunning with Mary's know-how and new powers to wicked effect. The relationship between them is easily my favourite part of the season so far, Mary slowly finding that she has a darker side, Alice being just a little bit sisterly, both manipulating each other to varying degrees, and Mary never quite forgetting what Alice did to her mother. Alice's quipping is as brilliant as ever, which, let's face it, basically goes without saying at this point. I'm a massive fan of the thing that eventually caused Mary to be found being that she was such a creature of habit that she used her coffee shop reward card without thinking about it, even after deliberately using cash and a fake name. Pre her powers coming in, Mary's truly cringeworthy attempts to flirt with guys by asking after their blood types was a riot, as was her post powers still trying to convince people to donate blood. Overall, the modern twist on what has been in the comics, a romantic Poison Ivy Harley Quinn relationship for a Wicked Sisters Poison Ivy Red Alice one is a great move. Mary choosing off her own back to refuse the cure because it would mean fading back into the background was a further twist of the knife for the team. Also, that outfit, wowza, two massive thumbs up all around. Despite my general dislike of where they're going with Marcus's character, I was pretty happy, if appalled, at his kicking the crap out of Luke and killing the guard. It was brutal, and it really added some threat to what would otherwise be a very weak foe for Batwoman. If this was what he was, rather than, wait, no, this is the happy thoughts side of the video. Right at the risk of falling off of the Batwoman seems mostly good this season bandwagon, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching, I've been Adam from Passable Media, please like, comment, share and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.